when you're falling I'll be there above all <laughs> Okay And since he's gonna trip he's only gonna do a slight power attack Okay Oh my god he misses ah! I actually parry it <laughs> he actually parries sweep. Incredible. Amazing. All right. So you two are scrabbling around in there. I seem like you're bumping into shelves and stuff's falling off. Someone call Evo. I just parried his low kick. This is good. <laughs> Incredible. All right, Arsenal. He gets the second round of secondary effect. Okay. What was the uh, effect again? Uh, uh, DC 32. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, technically that happens at the end, but it's okay. Oh, it does? Okay. All right, technically happens. All right, so take your, take your turn first. Take and my then turn first. All right. Um, let's see here. I am still dazed. <laughs> All right, and this is against his dodge? Yeah. And it hits him. Okay, now you want to see a dodge DC. Okay, he actually does manage to make it this time. Yeah. All right. Now he implodes. <laughs> oh, go oh God! <laughs> All right. Um, you can you can have a couple words before this guy implodes. Oh my God! It actually happened. That's oh my god, it you... actually happened. <laughs> what, what do you say? <clears throat> we could have done this better than this. You're the one that took it to war level. I'm finishing it. It's like, you upstart. You've ruined years of work. You've ruined me, and you've ruined all of your colleagues. I hope you're satisfied. And he is just going to cough Blood's gonna come out, and it's just, the chest cavity is just gonna crumple inwards. <laughs> and let's just do that. <laughs> there we go. Oh fuck! <laughs> and like as it like, kind of crunches and collapses, you can see just the blood coming out of the uh, chinks in the armor. Yeah. Motherfucker, you tried shooting this at like normal people. No, so far I've shot it mostly at Waps and him. Waps are just normal people and baby carriers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I really don't like the, um, the visual of a guy in a massive jolly jumper with mini guns <laughs> attached to it coming after you. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Firebrand. Oof. I'm getting a little tired over here. Uh, and I have exactly one action every round. <laughs> nice. Good, you've already done your recovery. Yup. Uh, one, two, two. I'm just gonna, like, literally walk around here and check out Zoo. Are you okay, Zoo? Uh, his hey. spine has been shattered. Oh, uh, that's... Oh, you don't look good, man. You don't uh, look so good. I think you need, better. like, a rest. He's got, he's got regeneration. Does that work when you're dead? <laughs> uh, that's dude, the real fucking... question! Oh, uh, dude, your spine's still popping. He's, uh, he's got the oh, fat man. X on him. Look, I'm gonna leave you, like... I'm gonna leave you be. He doesn't <laughs> respond. I <laughs> know. Uh, but yeah, I think this is where I need to be. Yeah. This is within five. This is fine. I'm happy. Turn done. Uh, okay. Uh, these goons. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this guy's gonna try and get through there. This guy. Uh, make a. Uh, uh, Arsenal, make a perception check. Hell yeah. So you don't see this guy sneak up behind you, sneak past you, and run out the door. That's one hell of a sneak to do that. Yes. It's because of your helmet. Your peripheral vision is shit. Yeah, shitty helmet! 
<laughs> it's like <laughs> some wizard like drew all over it or something. Uh, th- th- this guy in the meantime is just gonna try and crouch run it. Uh, do you let him go? He's trying to crouch run out the door. Is he leaving me alone? Yes. Then yes, I let him go. <laughs> away, I got. I got to take that away. That's not fitting. There we go. <laughs> and these guys are out of here. Actually, I had something kind of coming up. If, if they look like they're going to take a shot at me, I was going to ask if I could do an intimidation roll and say, "Look what I just did to that." Do you want that happen to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, no, they they they, <laughs> they would have done that. <laughs> All right, back over here. Uh, scrap. It is your turn. Let's see here. Well, I mean, the thing is that his trip is much better than mine. Or no, his, he can still dodge. So I don't know if I want to trip him. And then I can just punch him again. Actually, if I trip him, would that count as an attack hitting? And it, hit, it actually hits. If it hits, it hits. So I'll be able to do a fast grab on him too. Wait, a trip and a fast grab? Yeah. No. Why not? Those are those are like two maneuvers. Fine. Okay, I'll just punch him then. But it, no! Oh, so many twinsies this game. What does that happen? Two sixteens and two fourteens. This is amazing. <gasps> he ducks it again. I'm like, oh, holler next time. Go for another like overhead. He just ducks it again. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Moving right along. He's gonna kind of back up towards you, and he is going to kind of crumple himself up a little bit, and he's gonna kind of. He's gonna, he, you know, there, there's not a lot of fancy effects coming on this, but he's just gonna kind of a really bad, some bad vibes are gonna sweep through the room. Oh. All right, dodge DC twenty to kind of steal yourself against what's coming, because you can kind of see him scrunch up a little bit. I got that. I got that evasion bonus plus five Ooh. to this. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. Okay, so da, 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 da. Is yours that... is reduced to twenty. Firebrand. Uh, this is a toughness, or uh, this is a will save. And scrap yours is still twenty. Jesus Christ! And scrap yours is still okay. So okay. you are now vulnerable. Scrap. Is that just knock down my that, that... defenses? It it, it uh, takes your active defenses and it halves them. Oh no, my active defenses. All right, and then with his move by action, he is going to kind of slip out of another little door. Now, oh. Arsenal, this door is still open, and there's enough room to maneuver your flight up there. This fuck is getting away. Arsenal. Oh, 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 okay. So as he, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go to a different uh, thing here because the battle is over at this point. But now now we gotta have this story beat moment. So you are hammering up the stairs, chasing him as he kind of winds his way up until, like you're you're kind of going off walls and stuff. I assume you're enraged and also injured. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I've almost got Scrap's record for injuries. <laughs> yeah, so you're you're pelting up the well, not pelting. Well, you can zoom over there, but then you have to you have to kind of pelt up the stairs after him. Yeah. He's he's a little bit injured, but not really. You however are quite so he's able to kind of keep in front of you for a little while until finally you come back up and you are on top of the wall. Mm-hmm. And as the as the wind kind of whips around you, he turns back towards you. And he's going to say, he, he, he's going to reach into his coat pocket, and in one of his hands, you can see the chip. You fucking bastard. And, and, and he, he's just going to hold it in his one hand, and then he's going to extend one hand towards you, and he's going to do like the, the, like, like, like the two finger, come on. Bring it. Yep. And since, the, since there's only going to be two people fighting this time, uh, we're just gonna alternate turns, and we don't need to, we don't need a map for this shit. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. So, and also just to make this aesthetic, it's sunset. Yep. <laughs> there is. Oh, they like just barely breached the surface. Nice. Yeah, just just sunset. You're on top of the wall. The city's in the background, and we're going to. So, 
Uh, you get to go, uh, actually, what is your initiative bonus? Uh, my total is plus four. Okay. So he actually crosses the distance towards you. He's actually going on the aggressive this time. Okay. And uh, are you on the ground at the moment? Do you think you, you're in physical condition to fly, really? Uh, no, that's why I wasn't doing it most of the in that fight. Okay. So he is going to kind of faint in with one of his arms and go for a kick with his one of his legs. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Shit. Um, let's see here. That beats my DC by, uh, 17. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it doesn't have any sort of multi attack or anything on it, so that is just, that just becomes a DC 29 toughness. And I'm dead. <laughs> he knocks me off the wall, and I, and I go falling. I have no hero points left. Oh, God. Oh no. That's amazing. It wasn't supposed to end this way. <laughs> That's why my it's damn rolls in the most bittersweet rescue. rescue. To me. So. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay, amazing. Okay, okay, okay. So, do you want me to. Do you want this to become a thing, or do you want me to try and fix this? I have a couple questions. <laughs> yes. If I may. Yes. All right, so how much time passed before this big duel happened and the, and the jailbreak happened? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, how much time from which point? Okay, have I had a chance to get Dr. Shen outside yet? Yes, right, right about now you are getting to the surface and you can see that the, uh, the, the uh, prisoners aren't too far behind you. Right, so after I get Shen clear, I would want to somehow get back in the prison or find some information about this. Am I in any position to see Arsenal's grim duel to the death? Uh, I'm gonna say for aesthetic purposes, yes. You can like look up on the look up on the uh, wall. Also, see what's quick, quick rules question. This is like by 13 or so. Like, is he staggered already, and he just got staggered a second time? Wait. Um. What? Uh, how much did he fail by here? Uh well, that, that was, was a, he, he should just be down more than anything. Failed by right? 22. Oh, okay. Failed by 22. Yeah. Well, I if if it helps the narrative, I will spend my hero point. So if I can see Arsenal being uh, flung off the building, I could at least gather what is left of him before it hits the ground. What do you mean, gather what's left of him? I thought well, he was getting blown off the roof. Well, if you look if if you look at it mechanically, he basically just snapped my neck. Oh, but so you're instantly if we, if we, Yeah. But I'm just, I was just saying. You can get that instantly we... killed, mutants and masterminds? Yeah. Uh, if it's done by more than four degrees in one hit, it's an insta gib. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess you are dead. Uh, well, <laughs> well, okay. N narratively, though, like, yeah. like, like, like mechanically, if this was a. And this is an important fight, it, but it wouldn't give a narratively satisfying conclusion to this arc. Um, I'll say this. Because, no, wait. Uh, okay, no. I know. I know how this is gonna work. Okay. <laughs> that was amazing. So, I okay. Said, I, okay. I immediately. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess you're dead. Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> There's so much I can say about that. All right. right. You have dying and then dead. I'm sorry. Right, I can't Arsenal. believe you lost by 23. Holy crap. Yeah. Okay. So here's well, what's I happened. Five wounds. So you know you could add five to that if I was actually perfectly, uh, perfectly healthy. Okay. So yeah. so so Arsenal, this 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 encounter will be your end. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be the narrative of satisfying conclusion to your arc before you fucking pack out. Let me so, say, if you want to, hey, can we take it to another channel? Because I've got an idea. Sure. Yeah, let me share it with you and see if you like it. All right. Oh, what, right. What, what other channel do we go to? Oh, no. You can just do the private channel. Yeah. yeah. There's like general. Yeah. Uh, so private. Where is it? He'll just do, he'll go, he'll oh, there it is. Okay. Call. I mean, he's yeah. the one who went into, I'm going to fight a big dramatic fight with somebody. By the way, I have five wounds. In while injured, time. while poorly suited. Um, Honestly, if I so got up there, to... I was just going to grab the guy and throw both of us off. I think he might just be in the dying state, which we kind of frequently ignore, to be fair. Dude, let's, let's, let's do some rule searching. We have time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can actually get one shot in a uh, well, but also this game is designed to simulate 
Oh, it's well, related to a comic book story, not be yeah. Like, the silver, the well, specifically the silver age, extreme yeah. circumstances. Like you get stepped on by a giant monster as a PL five hero. Yes, you are dead. But that's not happening here. Let's see. Uh, a dying character. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Dying character is incapacitated, defenseless, done, blah, blah, blah. your death when the character gains constitution. Oh, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Where's incapacitated? Yeah, four would be incapped, and then dying happens after incapped. Where is it? Uh, I think I'm in the wrong chapter. There we go. Dying characters in cap near death. DC 15 fortitude checks. Wouldn't it be great to have this big dramatic thing and you're like, no, guys, the rules say he's okay. <laughs> no well, I thought deal. he got blown off the roof, which means even if he's dying, he gets blown off the roof, he's going to right, die. Right, in that case, like, he's going to need to be saved in order to also live. That's why I was going to suggest that if there was a chance I could actually... Uh, catch him before he hits the ground since I'm that's what I in fact what I would do since that's the kind of person I am let's see but um yeah uh, failure he only had four degrees right yeah 23 yeah target is incapacitated he is at failure four degrees the target is incapacitated so he's just dying he's not actually dead yeah, but when he hits the ground, he's gonna be dead. He, yes, yeah. he will be so very if you dead. Save him, he, he has the chance to make saves. I would be happy to do so, but they're all in another channel now. So, well, oh, we we okay. shall inform them. So, all right, guys, yes. real fast before we do anything, he failed by four degrees, correct? Yes. So he is just incapacitated, like straight oh. up in in the rule book. It just says failure four degrees, target incapacitated. Right, and the next step from there would be dying. So yeah, he's currently in the process of choice. dying. Yeah. That is generally not how I run shit in this campaign. Oh, okay. yes. well, then, then we're done. Yes. If it's yeah, an incapacitation, really if it's an incapacitation with the intent to kill, it kills the person. Okay. Remember, Kronos failed by four, and he yes. was plastered. He was splattered. But he also came back. Like he oh, was in well, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> like like that, that. That is a guaranteed <laughs> death. But the the uh, the robot wasn't necessarily trying to kill him, but because yeah. he'd already come back, it was an inevitability. All right. That, that is, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, okay. So let me just. Uh, so they're up on top. They're both using moves, counter moves. They are dancing around each other, and until both of them are extremely injured, they're just kind of falling into each other at this point. They're exhausted. Punches aren't even really flying. Well, they're just kind of whacking into each other until Probably finally chunks of the suit missing. You know, chunks of the suit missing. I assume the helmets come off. Yeah. Until finally the. Uh, the black hand produces a small blade and shoves it in between some of the missing armor plates directly into Arsenal's chest. As soon as you feel the cold blade go in, you can tell it was a killing blow. But Fuck. as he does that, he kind of his grip loosens on it and he collapses backwards. Uh, you're still standing, but you can feel the blood kind of pouring out of your out of your chest, and you can tell you're not going to be here for long. Goddamn fucker. At least give me the chip. Uh, okay, so he's gonna... He's gonna be laying on his back as the sun is setting behind you. And he's just gonna reach in slowly and jerkily into his pocket. And he's just like... You put so much of your hopes in this thing. And he, like takes the chip out and he looks at it. It's like, this is who you are. He's my son! It's your son. <laughs> and it's gonna kind of look at it. It's a shame. He couldn't have had a better father. And then he is going to lift up his hand and he is going to smash <clears throat> once, twice, three times the chip on the top of the, uh, on the top of the wall. And arsenal you can you can hear and feel the fragmentation of the weak signal that was coming from it into the into the uh suit, the suit. You, can, you can hear it start to kind of shudder and jitter as he smashes it and and very weakly in it you can hear like dennis i can't i can't feel i i i i don't want i and then it just no. cuts out as the last smash 
hits it over, and he falls backwards, and he starts to laugh. And the, the suit starts collapsing because it, without Arsenal running all the systems, it doesn't respond like it should. And so I'm kind of staggering, barely caping upright, and blood pouring up underneath. You motherfucker! Slowly reaches up over his shoulder and pulls the grav lance. Points it straight, and he's, and he's kind of limping, dragging over, points it straight, out, yanks a panel off, pulls something off with a series of sparks. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. You don't ruin anyone else's family. And this ungodly whine starts happening, something that no person should ever hear. And it gets louder and louder and louder. Sparks are flying, and then, boom! There's just this area that just kind of goes black and sits there for a second, you see like arcs and sparks off of it and stuff flying towards it, lasts about three seconds, and then when it disappears, it's like somebody had taken a cookie cutter out, a cookie cutter out of the wall, a good 30 meters in diameter. And Gone. it is just vanished. And there's kind of a deathly quiet for a moment before the regular sounds of the world start to move back in. And... They're just gone. I like to imagine maybe at this point, like Firebrand is finally like done hustling up the staircase. Yeah, you come up the staircase. And he comes up and just sees like a crater, and he's like, "Huh, he's not, not, not here," you, and like you, looks to the sky. No, you, you, no, you know what? I'm gonna say just for dramatic purposes, you would be able to come up a ways away, and you would able to be able to see like the electricity arcing and flashing around the arsenal on his knees in front of the black hand on his back. They're both like they're both just kind of grimacing. Black hand looks like he's starting to scream, and suddenly this black sphere just engulfs them both and disappears. Yeah, Firebrand's doll like, just like, drop at that. Just from his toes. Firebrand is just not moving after seeing that. There's just nothing left, too, right? There's nothing left. Like it's a perfect cross section of the area. Yeah, Firebrand just like staring open maw just at this and then just drops to a knee in like realization. Like yeah, barely I, a word. I'd say Scrap is, a Scrap's probably gone to the top at this point now as well. Actually, Scrap is running pell-mell back towards like because he sees Firebrand and Arsenal chase after the Black Hand and his skin, the other stuff, starts bristling. And he turns around and starts running back towards where the flesh thing was in the tube. Okay, so so you you, you wish like run past the uh, the two guys who had beat a hasty retreat. Do you do anything with them? No, I'm the, he seems incredibly focused. All right, so you start moving through there, and you once again screech back to the lab, and you can see through the little small porthole the flesh creature in the tube. How big is the flesh creature in the tube? Uh not very large, like the size of a large dog. Let's 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 try one thing and let's see if it'll actually work for me today. It does. The one of the claws is gonna kind of snap and crack and bend at unusual angles, and take a swipe out of the room. This is a hand. Pretty much everything. Well, it's not so much like that. Everything kind of breaks. Like everything kind of tilts a bit and then resnaps back, but it doesn't do well against uh, organic tissue. Mm. And so are you trying to just delete the tube? Oh yeah, I'm just trying to delete everything in the fucking cone area. Yeah, so you do that and a large chunk of the air just kind of destabilizes. You can't really describe how it disappears, but it just kind of fizzles and crackles and shifts out of existence. And the kind of feeling you would get from the flesh immediately ceases on this plane. And Scrap just kind of snaps too. He's like, "Oh shit, this was." Well, God, Arsenal, and then he's gonna start trying to run back. It's probably when he feels that the gravity kind of shifts a little bit over. Yeah. Him. <laughs> so you getting up to the roof, and uh, Liberty, would you like fly up there after seeing that happen? It's, it seems like most. It seems like Doctor Shen and like one or two of the prisoners are starting to make it to safety at this point. Uh, Rafferty? He's dead. 
Uh -oh. oh, shit. Sorry, awesome. I was muted. Uh, I said yes, I would fly up there, of course. Okay. So you would fly up there, and Scrap, you get you get there at the, at the right time that everyone is just kind of looking at uh, at this gap. What state would you be in, Firebrand? Firebrand is still, like, in shock. Like, he doesn't see anything going on or hear anything going on. He's just staring at this crater, just completely aghast. On his knees, just, like, slightly shaking. A hand is going to be, a large hand is going to place itself in your shoulder and kind of wrench you back a second. And he's going to go, where's the black hand? Firebrand, like, isn't even going to say anything. He's just going to, like, reach out an arm, like, towards yours and just, like, pull you in. And, like, just give you a hug and just start Oof. crying. Oof. Scrap kind of, his head just doesn't really turn the right way, but he looks over at Liberty and he goes, this isn't the answer to my question. <laughs> now, this, the, let me get the voice pattern is of the other entity, right? Well, it's the same voice. Oh, sorry. Okay. It would be this isn't the answer to our question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. But the other entity speaks in a different pattern. It depends. Yeah. So there's no it's been, sign. It's been, of... The pattern has been happening less and less. All right. <laughs> so there's no sign of uh, Arsenal then. There is not a trace. Actually, you know what? There is a trace. Oh god. Um, there is one. There's one of the gauntlets that was removed in the fight after it gummed up, and that he whipped back behind him, sta like battered with blood stained, a little ways outside the edge of this spherical area. Hmm. I'm going to uh, pick up Firebrand because he's not, he's not he's not gonna resist. Oh I'm yeah. Throw him over my shoulder and get on the comms. And call. Oh fuck! What was our contact here? I can't. The name. It's been. It's been weeks. And I didn't write it down. Uh, I think it's Director Wu. Yes. Director yeah. Wu. And you're like Director Wu. Yes. I've heard there. This well, is quite a commotion. We've got multiple ships leaving the main part of the city, and they're heading in your direction. What's going on over there? What prison? A prison break. What? Followed by uh, a lot of destruction. And he looks down at the crater and he goes, we believe Arsenal's dead, as well oh. as the Black Hand. That's unfortunate. Can you, can you put Daishi on the line? Uh, I can't either. He was, uh, he looks over at Liberty for a second. He goes, uh, an unfortunate casualty. Oh, wow. He's gone he too. Went off, he went off on his own. And, well, we found him in rough shape. Uh, um... Director Wu is going to kind of curse violently as he's kind of like holds the phone away from him. And he's going to kind of get regain composure. He's just like, Well, I would suggest you get out of there as quickly as you can. We have a safe house nearby. More how dropships are heading in on that location. I would want you to be there. Sounds like a plan. Uh, where is the safe house? We'll start heading that direction. Location. Oh, thank you. Uh, and he goes, I'll, we'll call you back. And he's pop it off. All right. He goes, uh, uh, Liberty, can you carry a, de and he looks, oh, he clicks over at Firebrand, who I can only assume, you know, tears, blood, like yeah, blood red like face. He, he can't form coherent sentences, but he's going to like, just gently like push himself off your shoulder for a second and just like go over to the gauntlet and like go pick it up and like hug that next. Firebrand, we do not have time for this. He's yeah. going to kind of he's yes, to I can you take by the collar. Oh, so, I mean, sorry, what, what did you say? I said yes, I can take you both. Okay, good. Because he kind of he kind of jingles him a little bit, you know. He goes, he's not in any condition to do anything. It seems. Now we need to leave now. All right, because there is a. Yeah, uh, I will have to transform into a giant bird and take both of you away. <laughs> Kaiju attack! Kaiju attack! <laughs> <laughs> Did the turrets open up on the walls? At, at this point, Firebrand uh, is is not like looking to anyone to carry him. Instead, he's like staring off towards the uh, towards the west. Takes a couple of steps off the wall in that direction, and then just flies off. God, he just flies it, west, saying a single word. Oof. Well, that solves that Gauntlet problem. in hand. Mm -hmm. So now, now that the sun has set. And you guys have uh, go all both going off in your separate ways. 
you can see behind you a, a little flock of Mordhau dropships with their spotlights scattering around are descending on the section of wall with the chunk out of it. Hold tight. I will take evasive maneuvers. Uh, they're, they're not within position to... Well, they might change their minds. Engage. All right. I'll still be evasive about it. Okay. I mean, Scraps, you're pretty solid, right? So if we bang into a building or two, you're fine. Yeah, you will, I'll be fine. All right. So you guys get back. Uh, you guys get to the safe house, which is in a small... Uh, it looks like a small calligraphy store. Uh, you guys just show up, and the lady behind the desk instantly just presses a button on the... Uh, below the desk and a table slides back and you guys can walk down into a small concrete little safe house. It's like a panic Scrap room. Scrapple, Scrapple nod very briefly and then just kind of hightail it downstairs. All right. and he's gonna sit down. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? My f he couldn't just wait. Couldn't just wait. We knew we had to go. Yes, we did know we had to go, but we couldn't just wait. Mm. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, Firebrand, what are you doing? Uh, Firebrand is uh, on about an eight-hour flight westward towards Africa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He is going towards Egypt. Nice. Good old Mega City 3. Indeed. He is going to be going to some old places that he remembers. And he is going to be doing a few burial ceremonies. For Oof. what remains. Make him a little pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> Out of solid gold and then immediately regret it because someone's going to loot it. You don't have any organs so you just put different fingers in the different Coptic jars. <laughs> yeah, it's like Firebrand is literally going to be like talking like to himself to arsenal as he is like uh doing this like well you don't i'm looking at the book you don't have the heart the spleen there's nothing left well, let's be honest everyone did this so that they could come back but i know you're not going to i'm so sorry and just like has another like 12 hour breakdown jeez <laughs> <laughs> but uh, eventually oh. over time he's going to uh cremate the hand and give it like a little mini well, sarcophagus there, there's um, no hand it's just it's just the gauntlet itself yeah oh, okay. he got, he got, well, he got knocked off in the fight uh, <clears throat> but so as an as an idea as put forth by a uh, flea and since this seems like it'd be a good idea as you're doing your things you accidentally hit one of the buttons on the computer <laughs> and it scrolls through some stuff <laughs> and then you hear crackle and you get it's faint because there's not much power left in it but you hear, it sounds like a, re a conversation between Arsenal and Epic. And it's, it's very casual. It's almost like probably Epic recorded it without Arsenal knowing at the time. And, you know, Ar you, know Ar you can tell by his voice, Arsenal's frustrated. Stuff's not working right. And he's flopped back. And he's like, you know, I never wanted to be a hero. I I never wanted to do this, but I have to admit there's there's a kind of satisfaction to it. I'm scared shitless more times than not, but when we go out there and we save somebody or prevent something from happening, I'm come back. I'm hurting. I'm tired, but there's just it feels good. I'm, I'm glad I took the risk, Eripic. I'm glad I took the risk and reached out to Benunzi's. I'm glad he took the time to train me. He was another mentor, one I never expected I'd run into. Oof. Yeah, and then Firebrand is like listening to this and like literally clutching his heart as he hears it. Yeah. And, like, he just kind of, like, uh, still, like, watering in his eyes, sniffling. He's going to, like, finish off, like, his little ceremony. Pull out his little communication on and just, like, phone up Anubis. Now that the ceremony specifically for all of this is done. 
Yo, yo, what's up? It's Anubis. <laughs> it's your boy. We gotta, we gotta lighten, the, we gotta lighten the load a little bit here, right? <laughs> loud, loud barking. And <laughs> barking in the background. And Firebrand's <laughs> only request is just to watch his uh, soul be weighed against the feather as he transitions to the other side. Ah, oh, dude. Just that's... to be there at his last moment. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. Um. He didn't believe in Egyptian mythology, so he's not coming here. Uh, um, I'm, I'm like trying to broaden mythology. I don't, I don't know if it yeah, matters I, or anything. I can, I can actually kind of try and spy in if you, if you want, but I don't know how. I, I don't know. I might, I might, I might, I might be able to get a good reception. I can try and look though. I, I just want to see him one last time. Okay, so you have an experience. It's difficult to describe as. Mm. It's a very abstract thing you're viewing, but you can tell, you can like feel the same energy that uh, that Arsenal had. Like, like the it, it's an odd combination. It's like the feeling of him in a room, like the smell of the suit and like some oil and workshop and stuff like that. Some like workshop smells. And then, like, a couple of, like, tones of the voice. I just kind of feel that kind of slowly slipping away. Yeah. Kind of slipping away to another place. Uh, and about all that Firebring can do as he's just slipping away is just say, uh, Arsenal, Dennis, I'm just so proud of all you've done. You did great. Oof. So no here. one will forget you. Rip and pepperoni, you'll be yeah. mozzarella. <laughs> All right. So, um, is, and yeah. By that time, he is fucked off. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. And also, as he's as he's going off, there's a uh, there's also a little something by him. A little bit diminished, but very similar in its uh, in its footprint. Don't can't quite tell what it is, but it's definitely there. It's a teeny tiny child. Oof. Yes. That way they get a little bit of a happy ending. So they yeah. fade in the distance. Firebrand like takes like a deep breath, and he's just gonna walk out of like this uh, ancient temple, and he's gonna fly like a short distance away to a place that he's described to other people where there's just a couple of trees, a small little oasis, a little rock for some shade. And he's just gonna set the gauntlet down there and he's just gonna sit and take his vacation for a moment. Alright. Back in Mega City One. Uh, I assume you guys would give a kind of standard debrief. On the uh, on the situation that happened in that base, is there anything you would call special attention to or omit? I call special attention to Doctor Shan. All right. So you uh, you mentioned his expertise and his willingness to come out, and they're like, "Oh wow, that'd be excellent to have such a well. If he's as well versed as he says in these things, in these uh, matters, he would make a valuable asset. I'm sure you're." Mega City 4 would like to keep their claws on him, and I suppose we can oblige for your help with uh, the whole Ying Lege accident. Anyway. Scrap will bring up the um, the flesh thing. They had mm. one. It doesn't, it's not there anymore, I think. That's good. But they had one. I don't, they might have more. S study like this, that's a disturbing precedent. But I don't think you and yours will have to worry too much about Mordhau in the future. If my sources are correct, they got what they came for and then lost it with no hope of gaining it back. So I think you're in the clear for them for now. Scrap just shrugs a bit because, I mean, if they show up, we do the same thing we just did. Of course. What? What about all the prisoners? Have you heard anything about them? And um, not, all, not all of them died in there. No, a few have been reported in various points around the city. We're working on rounding them up ourselves. 
Uh, but a large number have been a wall in both the drowned city and the rest of Mega City One. So we'll have to keep tabs on that. Well, they'll turn up. I'm sure they will. Now we seem to have lost another one, but I think he left on his own accord. And he can, you know what? He can get back to Mega City, Mega City Four, whenever he wants. I would, uh, oh, oh, with he, no offense intended, would also like to get back to Mega City Four. Uh, are you speaking about Doctor Shen? No, yeah, I'm oh, talking wait, about which, Firebrand. Which fire? Oh, Firebrand. He kind of like he kind of like puts that as oh, fire. Um. Yes, of course, I can arrange for transportation post. Thank you. You've done Mega City One a great service. So great a service, we're going to be spending many months covering it up. He kind of gives himself a little chuckle. And he just kind of leans in. It's like, you did good today. Scrap gives a, you know, a half, half weak smile. Like, I mean, the, they, they put me here. They know what I do. Yes. Um. But in any case, thank you uh, and everyone in our... Uh, for an office for all of your help and everything and i'm sorry for your loss and he kind of gauges it mm -hmm. I, yeah that sounded good um <laughs> oh yeah that's that's what people say that's what people say they like to say things about sadness and emotions what <laughs> um but he's going to uh actually i don't know what scrap would do he just he's not just gonna sit down and wait I guess I'll, I'll go find something to keep me busy. Do you happen to know when the plane might be ready? Well, just another, like, maybe four hours. Perfect. Uh, I guess I'll go for a walk. And you're just going to go for a walk. All right. Uh, Liberty, anything you would like to do? Or anything you'd like to say to the director or what you'd like to do in those four hours? Well, in the... In the wake of the loss of Arsenal, like, uh, does he have a next of kin that we have to inform? I mean, his Not... estate has to be distributed. He, uh, he, he covered his tracks purposefully. Yeah. He ever, he actually never even mentioned his last name around anybody. Uh, Courier would end up knowing because of just requirements for stuff. But yeah, you you have almost nothing on him. He's done a very good job at scrubbing his past. Well, that's unfortunate because uh, we can't give his relatives closure then. Yeah. Uh, well, this was like a big waste of life. Yes. Try to go rescue him and he's dead. <laughs> well, by his own hubris. Sometimes the arcs are like that. Sometimes that's just how the arcs be. Okay. So, uh, if that's all, the director would dismiss you. Uh, and say you should probably get back to Mega City 4. They're, they always had problems there. So. Come back, uh, it's just on fire. Yeah, it's just on fire. Everything's terrible. Um, yeah. Is there anything you'd like to do for those four hours? Uh, Scrap might talk to himself a bit, but there's nothing too out of the ordinary. All right. And Liberté? Well, I suppose I should ask Firebrand if he's all right. Uh, he's gone. Firebrand is out of communication. Wait, did you actually... I mean, I know you're out of range, but did you take a communicator with you still? Uh, nope. Dropped that off while I was flying. Then I, I hope I would have grabbed that. Let's just say dropped it when he left. Don't make these easier. Yeah. Yeah, what what did he drop? His communicator. communicator. Oh, right. It's okay. You, you know the password. One, two, three, four, guest, admin. 42069! <laughs> <laughs> well, that had part a bit of that 2000 in there. Part of what I do is grief counseling, so... Uh, if anyone to needs to talk for that session, 
Hmm? So do you have to head to Egypt for that session? Well, I'll have to find Firebrand. How is Scraps taking it? Although, actually, I'm not even sure who I'm talking to. Uh, I would think Scrap is taking this uncharacteristically well. Like, he doesn't seem phased at all. Yep, denial. All right. Uh, <laughs> pretty crazy. Okay. Just give so me a damn plane. Yeah, so after uh, after four hours of that, uh, you guys kind of line up the plane. Uh, Vodern's also there. Got all packed up. A couple of other Mega City 4 personnel that you can recognize passingly from the base. See Vodern just like leaving with like a couple crab claws. <laughs> Pretty much. Um... She and the rest of the crew do seem more sober than usual, and you can assume that they also got the news. Uh, she actually uh, walks up to you, you scrap, and she kind of puts her hand uh, on her shoulder, and you're like, I'm sorry for your loss. He was a good man. We know that he ran off by himself, and he didn't wait for us, and this happened. So it's a learning experience for oh. other ones. Well... That could be true, but she kind of works her jaw for a second and just kind of her hand just kind of falls off his shoulder and she starts walking towards the plane. Scrap smiles to himself. I got to avoid that. That's nice. Uh, gonna take a nice seat on the plane. Find a, find a good seat. You know, put his feet Win- up. Window seat? Yeah. In, in the L couch? Okay. So the, uh, the plane heads back without incident. Um, and honestly, I'd say on this kind of sober, quiet plane ride back, even though it hasn't been going for very long, we are down a character and we have had a very significant thing happen. So if everyone would be okay, we could probably end this right here. <clears throat> yeah, this is a uh, very good conclusion point for uh, this arc, I think. Man, yeah. Arsenal, you just couldn't let it alone. And my dice, ch- my, my dice have betrayed me the entire freaking campaign. Oh uh, yeah. No, like because the original thing is is you beat him. Yeah. Uh, he smashes the thing. Yeah. You 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 like you go, you go ballistic and kill him. Yeah. And then you kind of go on with that being like, oh, I, hey, I just murdered a defenseless guy. That's my legacy now. Yeah. Um, but. It's just like when he beats you, it's just like, oh, it just got even spicier. <laughs> I mean, if I had gotten up there a time, and if I landed a hit, like what my plan was, if he got on top of the wall, just to grab him and throw the both of us off. But I <laughs> never got to do that because someone had to be a hero. Well, the thing is, that was a, that was a closed system up there for plot reasons. I know, yeah. I know it was. <laughs> So the real question is, what are you going to do next now? Yeah. Zudashi is back. <laughs> is oh, yeah, that's right. Zudashi cool. is back, back in a wheelchair. He's got, he's got five points of regeneration. He'll be better in a couple of weeks. Does he have regeneration incurable? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you, need, you <laughs> still need immortality for that. It's fucking Pepsi, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got crunched. <laughs> Nah, I wouldn't want to do him as a long-term character anyways. No. I, I I built him too narrow just because I was having fun with some ideas. Yeah, he was a cool martial arts thing. And yeah. the more I think about like martial arts characters, like I want to do more stuff like the black hand where like you do the parry and counter yeah. attacks and sweep moves and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> like, and I'm not like, sure Zoo like had all that, did he? Like he had like a punch no. and then like a fast grab attached to it. No, his main thing basically was reducing Pressure physical point. Reducing yeah. physical attributes, so I can reduce uh, opponent's defenses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 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 like also partially, if you want to do martial arts character, half of the uh, half the fun is doing descriptions for stuff because half the time I was describing like parries and like dodges and leading into arms and stuff. Yeah, he was just doing regular melee attacks. Yeah, like it's honestly a lot of a lot of it's just flavor text. Yeah, yeah it's it's the flaw of a lot of systems where there's not a 
lot of built-in flavor to a lot of things in a lot of games. So yeah, yeah that's that's why with I did the multi attack with the kung fu thing. I assume he's literally just doing you know punch kick kick punch trip you know just doing like yeah. you know, going punch kick on the mind. Yeah. So oh, shit. This not how it, well we can now say that Cronus' uh, prophecy came true. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell everyone about that. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. sorry oh, right, I forgot about that. One. <laughs> Granted, I was just yelling at him the entire well, time. One so. of them has died. No, he it's... specifically said Arsenal was going to die. Yes. I'm not, and he uh, did. Maybe, maybe it would have been like, you know, if I had told you, it would have been like, yeah, it's going to happen regardless if I tell you or not. So why not just not tell you? Well, you have the thing. If he did tell him, he told him the specifics, it might have changed. Well, I had no idea about the specifics because I was too busy yelling at him. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well. I said, I'm mostly just frustrated at my damn dice. <laughs> you know, the, fa- the fact that my character died, no big deal, you know? It happens. It's just, god damn, my fucking dice! Uh, the thing is, I've been there like three times in a row, too. It's like, but oh, whoops, you... I critically failed that. Uh, you, at le- you at least bought immortality. <laughs> yeah, I at least bought immortality. Was... <laughs> uh, just happens. Oh. So um, I think. Speed's just... your next? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I, mean, I have but, ideas. But before uh, you make Speedster, I will yeah. say. Don't go too crazy with takedown and insane speed, please. <laughs> Don't just clear out the entire dungeon in one turn. Because my other idea, I have this funny, crazy idea, but we don't have quite the right tone going on for this. This is this basically demon possessed teddy bear. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, oh, I think boy. you should pursue that. Well, no, because see, it basically, its, it's main quote unquote attack is a perception. Extra area, uh, 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 I'll make it selective just so I don't affect everybody. But basically, it's weaponized cuteness to make everybody completely defenseless. Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and then his other yeah, we're attack... We're going to the talking dog build now, aren't we? And then the... See, the problem is his other attack is then he waddles up to the person and then does that whole... Th- you know you know how the uh, the clown from It kind of opens up its mouth and all those teeth are there and just <clears throat> swallows whole. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. And it's more fun, though. His, his travel power... I haven't figured out if I'd do it as a flight or a teleport or something like that. It's that creepy... Uh, <laughs> horror thing where every time you look it's he's somewhere else <laughs> except it's along the lines of he's on something that's going in the direction he wants to go so you look once and he's sitting on the bumper of this one car you look another time he's in this guy's backpack <laughs> you look another time and he's <laughs> oh uh casual note hero points for a funeral <laughs> yes you get a hero point for that and also everybody does get uh, wh- however many power points you need to get up to power level 12. Uh, Wait, we were already there. Level 12? You were already there? Yeah, 180 yeah, points. We got there last time. Yep. You're on 181 and can officially do all the power level 12 shit. Yeah. yeah. I got two points. Now how many points is Arsenal's gauntlet worth? <laughs> <laughs> Infinite. This does bring up a point of having like a uh, weakness of the party where our smartest person left now is Liberty, and Liberty has already <laughs> demonstrated uh, they don't have all the skills Arsenal does. Well, I've just got some points. I suppose I need to buy them. Right, that could be a thing. The main skill Arsenal used was, was technology. <laughs> Which is very one. important in this future society. I was thinking maybe of like using this gauntlet as like the last uh, swan song of Arsenal, where like it just hacks things for Firebrand. <laughs> Too dumb to do it otherwise. <laughs> well, the, the whole hacking thing came from Epic, and that motherfucker's yeah. dead. I'll, I'll see like what I can work out. I don't think there's anything I can do for two points, though. So I'll no, see. not for two points. You could put two. You could put four points in technology. Just like take a fucking. <laughs> Like a like a uh, uh, what was it programming boot camp class? 
Can you imagine Firebrand sitting down for that class? He just pays the nerds to do the work for him. He just like slides them a hundred, and it's like, just do my code for me. I don't understand it. There you go. For for spend two points to buy you buy yourself a hacking minion. I mean, that's really what I did with Epic. Epic oh, was my hacking minion. That's actually maybe perfect. <laughs> what would you call him? Arsenal. Call him Uber. Ah, cry. Let's just let's just uh. He, he, what are you gonna name him? Arsenal breaks out like a like a thesaurus. Yep. I'm going to call him uh, Armory. <laughs> Let's see here. What is weapon? Here. I'll call him Weapon Storage Locker. There we go. <laughs> Arsenal synonyms. Armory Depository Depot. Call him Depot. <laughs> Depot. <laughs> Yeah, but if you yeah, do, do I mean, speedster. Speedster is then suddenly the most uh, populous power we've seen in this uh, campaign. Then that'll be fun. Speedster wow. can be really busted, so I'm saying if you're going to yes. be a speedster, be very careful because shit. You can probably be just want to like really talk easy. directly and immediately about it. Yeah. I- I'm toying with the idea. I don't know exactly what. One thing I was thinking about doing is just kind of like literally making him a glass can and he you know all is defense like almost all of his defenses are in and dodge and parry and he's got like crap for toughness <laughs> it's, it's just, like, just died and you're like i wonder if i can make a glass <laughs> can. <laughs> this couldn't possibly end ah he and he dies in the first session well he at, got this point in the cam- at this point in the campaign there's the, i don't have any particular reason to get super invested in a character so I'm not worrying too much if another no, no one dies. It's not like there's we've already, he's already told us we're on the final end of it. We're basically going to be on scraps arc for the most part. Well, I have an arc. Okay. Uh, d- d- uh. What has this alien transformation been this whole time? D- background dressing. Don't worry about it. He is so, now six feet know. tall. Don't ask questions. I'm what? Wor- <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, I'm not worried about, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to build a whole lot of background or anything in, in any character I make. So if he dies again, hey, oh, well, we're getting to the deadly part of the campaign. Yes, you are. You definitely are. <laughs> I said, I'm toying with ideas, figuring out what I want to do. Oh, yeah. And I still definitely I have to consider upgrading to everything to 12 now. Real fast, the thing to remember is that, or not is that, but I might need new clothes when we get off the plate. <laughs> Step off and you're just like 12 feet tall now? No, I'm not that Bit big. I spurt. actually can't do that. I thought about it. I'm like, oh, I should just get another, I should just get ranks and growth. And then I realized that if I do, I get another point. Oh, wait, no. If I get another, never mind. Just kidding. Shut, I never said anything. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Another point intimidation? Hmm? No, no, the, I was going to say for the dodge parry, I'm like, no, it'll be too high. But it's like every nah, ranks, you lose a dodge and parry. So I'll be fine. Yep. So I actually do. Do I actually? I think size ranks happen every four, though. So I'm not. Ooh. Size ranks happen every four, which means now that we're power at level 12, mm-hmm. you could buy up to three levels of growth. By the way, I'm buying uh, 12. Oh, sorry. By the way, I'm buying power 12 growth. Okay. Oh God! <laughs> I know what I'm making now. He's gonna be—he's uh, gonna be slightly—he is gonna be a little bit of a speedster, but it's not gonna be his, his only shtick. So he won't be—he won't be that fast. Okay. He, he he's will also be a fast. clown. Oh no! No. Uh, electrically, uh, electrically based. He's gonna be—he's gonna be a, a electri- <laughs> uh, electricity manipulator slash he's generator. A- Ooh. We'll have fire manipulator, electricity manipulator, uh, scraps tough boy, shapeshifter, and wizard. I'm also immune to electricity. <laughs> you know, just get a bunch of AOEs and don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did see you keep saying, going, go for the missile, but it's like... Uh... It. Arsenal was not in a good place in his head. He'll and... be fine. He's died before. Now, I, I, I gotta say... One of my favorite dudes, one of my favorite characters I played was a just just a group of dudes. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. The, the 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 selective burst air attack that was just them punching everything in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but like even that. even with Arsenal dying, there was actually a pretty good chance that I was going to have to take him out of the game after this. 
Yeah. He just, he was not in a, I mean, not in a good place. Yeah. He, like there I said, was the one thing. thing I was planning to do with Arsenal, though, which is, like, if he got back safe and sound, and he's still missing a finger, I would say, like, on arrival, it's like, oh, when you arrive, like, a limousine pops out, and someone pops out with a shiny gold cybernetic middle <laughs> finger for you. <laughs> nice. Actually, cause the, 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 speaking of that's funny, if he had survived this, and I decided he was going to go on, I was actually looking, I was thinking about uh, trying to get uh, the cybernetic arm from uh, Scrap, and Ooh. basically, oh god, replace... I still have this helmet lying around. I gotta burn that before before oh, Firebrand shows up and gets sad again. Replace. Yeah. I was gonna re basically replace his uh, uh, Arsenal's uh, Arsenal's hand or arm from basically just just below the uh, elbow down, and Epic's chip was gonna be in it. Uh. I mean, if anything, you could have been our guy in the chair. You know, the man, the man <laughs> being like, don't worry, I'm hacking the system. Oracle? I could be your Oracle? You could be Oracle. We could even give you a fancy chair that has wheels on it. It's not a wheelchair, but it's a chair that has wheels. <laughs> and sick flames. Hey, sick I, flame decals. I, I saved this from your old base. I, I, I didn't, I never told you that I took it before because I had so much fun with it. <laughs> oh, wait. I can't have... Uh, what's our what's the max again? We're at twenty two for defenses. If it's plus plus, right? No, twenty four. Oh, okay, good. I'm still in the I'm in the clear perfectly. Everything matches perfectly. This is awesome. Because <laughs> it's double it's yeah. double the power level. I have to do math when we're done here. Oh my god, I got so lucky. My fortitude and will equals twenty four. Oh, that could have been so bad. Gosh, mine's been askew. I've actually been like two three points behind since last level. Just because it's hard to balance given the way that I've uh, accidentally done things. So, whoops. I have to fix that. Oh, this is going to be a fun one next one. The only thing I can think of is um, growth reduces your defenses. Like, 12 levels of growth is minus 6 to all your defenses. Yes. Except because you're, you're, you're bigger until you're, it's like, you know, you're, you're not shooting at the broadside of a barn. Right. So, what would I... what? like skill or advantage should i get to offset that penalty toughness add, yeah doesn't it add to your toughness to increase your size well yeah but i'd rather not get hit because yeah so uh, so you're you're talking about raising your dodge and parry in concert with increasing your growth right well i'm sorry yeah what powers can i buy that would increase those uh enhanced attribute yeah or or enhanced um it's not enhanced attribute because enhanced attribute. Yeah, because like my strength. my fighting's already maxed out. Yeah, no, you can. Um, it's it's. I think it's enhanced trait. Uh, yeah, uh, I, think it's, 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 I did it with power. Arsenal's suit, so yeah, I think it was yeah. enhanced trait. We're power level twelve, which means the max on our traits is actually twelve, not ten. Yes. Yes. So I'm not maxed out on my fight. Ho ho. Okay. All right. Perfect. Well, everyone, this was a happy-go-lucky session. I'm glad everyone was here for it. <laughs> Candy but and I... rainbows everywhere. Yeah, yeah sorry I was delayed, like, but we have I was so glad everyone got a happy ending. Yeah. 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 It's a real feel-good session, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it was Fire dramatic. Oh, God, this is fun. <laughs> we have right. fun here. I think but I'm gonna probably the way I'm going to finish it up is I'm going to send Fui a message. All right. What does oh. it say? Here it comes. It's coming. Oh, there it is. If Firebrand just leaves because of this, I'll be so mad. Oh, I will talk to you about that later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll guys, be interested good to hear one. the answer. Okay. I'm Bells and here. whistles don't have to come with. But it'll All be right. fun. Well, Good game, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Can, nothing like marking the beginning. Well, no, I, actually, I'd say this is like midpoint of Act Three, the three act structure. Ooh. When the character, first main character, got murked in a long time. Yeah. More. All right. One of the one of the, one of the original four. I got the Thanks, Thanks everyone for playing. Catch yep. you guys yeah. next time. See ya. Later. <laughs>